What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be giving you a deck profile on the deck I got first place with on my case tournament um, yesterday at Torm City Games in Frederick, Maryland. Um, I ended up going X1. Um, I was the only X1. The, the guy who got second place uh, was my only loss, but he went um, X02, so he got two draws. So I was technically ahead of him. Um, and I also, yeah, I knew um, that I was going to be playing a lot of Shadal Invoke, which is why I play this deck, obviously. Um, and I know I did a deck profile of this deck um, a couple days ago, but I just thought I'd give you guys uh, my list again without ex explaining stuff and just uh, talk about my matches. Uh, and just let you guys know that I did uh, get first place in my um, case tournament that I told you guys about. And my uh, openings were I got um, a display box and three special edition boxes. And I pulled the ever so elusive lightning storm, the island, and a kaku. I was going to record the pack openings, but it was too long. Um, it was too many packs, and I just decided that, uh, you know, i just uh, let you guys know what I pulled. So that's what I pulled. Um, I played Altergeist. I think there's a couple changes I made, um, which I'll show you guys uh, in the side deck. But the main deck is pretty much the same. I'm just going to go through really fast, and, uh, just in case you guys just want to know the list. Uh, so it's pretty standard. Um, Marionetter. Uh, the Meliseeks. Ash. And then the Spells. I'm just going to do it really quick. For you guys, uh, if you guys have any questions about like um, like more uh, in depth explanations on cards I played, feel free to just uh, message me. Um, I always check my phone, so I'll always be ready to re uh, reply to you guys. If you guys have any questions on like uh, certain text in this deck or how to play this deck, let me know. It's pretty um, standard for the most part. Um, so yeah, just pause the video if you guys need to see something. Um, and uh, let me just go through my side next really quick, and then I'll go through my matches really quick. Uh, the token, yeah, my side deck. Uh, the only card that changed, um, I'll show you in a bit. Uh, I played non fusion area, uh, just because um, I felt like it was a, a fourth copy of anti spell, um, just because I wanted something else against the invoke deck. Um, and then against trap decks, I wanted it more out, so I played a malevolent catastrophe. It was supposed to be wiretap, I just didn't have it in time, so I decided to play that. And then for the backward decks as well, I play the Triple Duster. Um, and then for extra decks, it's pretty standard. Uh, the Link Rebos, the Almirage. Um, probably my favorite monster in the extra deck, of course, the Triple Hexia. This card just amazing. Being able to negate it all fusion if they don't have meltdowns, really good. Uh, the Nightmare Package. Uh, the two other Alter Geist monsters, the Prime Banshees. Uh, random Triple Burst Dragon, I just didn't have a 15th card to play. Uh, Boar Load and Boar Sword. So my round one was Trap Trick. Uh, that was pretty easy. The guy really didn't know what he was doing. Um, he made a bunch of misplays. Um, and then round two was against Sal Mangrate. Uh, game one, I opened up like Brogan. He had Ash for my spoofing, but I was still able to like control the game with my traps. And then on my turn, I was able to spoofing. Um, round three was against... Uh, uh, was it? Sh I think it was um, Shadal Invoked. Uh, I beat that. Um, that was pretty easy. Um, he made a misplay. Um, he didn't realize that Hexia wasn't once per turn to negate, so he played both of his, uh, fusion spells, when he should've just, like, set his, um, Shadal Fusion. Um, round four was against, um, Mermels. Um, I 2 would him, I was able to just, um, control the game by traps. Um, and he really didn't know, like, how to play around protocol and stuff. Um, and then round five was my first loss against, um, uh, Shadal Invoke. He, um, he was really knowledgeable. Um, and round one, or game one, I opened up triple... Um, uh, Ash Blossom, so that kind of lost me the game. Um, and then against uh, round two or game game two of that uh, that game or that round, um, we grinded out. He was he banished my um, my uh, manifestation and my multi faker with the um, that uh, I forgot what it's called um, Ariel. I think the shit all that banishes. So that was that. He was a really good player. He was a really nice guy. He knew a lot of rulings about like alter guys and the uh, interactions with his shit all deck. Um, and then last round was against, um, BA block dragon, BA rock turbo deck. Um, game one, I went first. I just opened a bunch of traps. He couldn't play through it. Um, game two, he liked it all his combos. Um, and he knew I was playing a trap deck. So he started in dusters and he milled two of them with the, uh, Dante that he made. And then, um, on my turn, he's, he had a, uh, he made Avermax and, uh, Fossil Dina, which is really good against like most decks, but I activated Mystic Mind and he wasn't able to out that. Uh, so that was my, I finished, um, uh, I might play something else in the future, um, but for now, I just think this deck is, like, one of the best decks right now, um, I, luckily I didn't play any dinos, I know that's kind of a hard matchup for this deck, um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you guys like this, um, 
quick update on what I did on Saturday. Uh, please like the video, comment, subscribe.